Norbash starts the crash bang boom. Makichi doing everything he can to bob and weave. Twinbus must be missing a lot of shots. He gets the kill on Narbash, and now Twinbus is missing shots, and McKinchy's hitting his. What's up, everybody? I'm the Mangoose. You are awesome, and this is Casting Call, the show where I cast replays submitted by viewers like you. Today, we're going to take a look at a great Murdoch game from McKenzie, Twitch and YouTube linked below. If you have your own gameplay that you would like to see on the show, just fill out the form linked in the video description below. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoy, and subscribe if you want to see more. Now, let's get into the action. Start this game up, and McKenzie's support is not with him yet. The enemy team has a Twin Blast and a Narbash that he's facing off against. He's going to throw a ward down just behind the fog wall. Narbash misses the thunk, takes a shot from Murdoch, and Murdoch sees the Twin Blast waiting in the wings, trying to uh, gank him through that fog wall, but he did put that ward up good on him. So now he's, he's facing off against two here, and they're splitting up. They're making him split his focus here. He's, he's, he's pinging on the Narbash, but Twin Blast is coming in behind him. And Twin Blast is going to move in. They're going to trade some shots. We're going to have a, a little bit of a carry off. It looks like neither one of them are really missing, but the, <laughs> the thunk comes in from behind. He should have been aware of the Narbash, and he's very low on life. But Twin Blast is taking tower shots. Twin Blast goes down. That's first blood for McKinchy due to a greedy dive by the Twin Blast. Now McKinchy can sit back and farm and get some health back from his health potion. That was a. That was a little nuts there at the beginning. I'm sure they thought that they could get that kill, and uh, you know what? One one um, one grenade or something, and McKinchy would have been done. Now Narbash is going to run. In. Oh, Narbash comes in for a last hit and gets a face full of minions. Is he going to die too? Is he going to pay for that? Oh no, he's he's got his minions with him now, so McKinchy's going to back off. Probably a good decision on McKinchy's part because one thunk would have ended him right there with the enemy minions attacking him. McKinchy still abandoned in this right lane all by himself, has been desperately calling for help, calling for a gank. Nobody has come over. He's just been playing as safely as he can, but he is woefully under farmed as he's been, uh, other than that first kill, he's been a little bullied by the Twin Blast and the Narbash. Uh, they haven't killed him yet, but uh, it has come really close a few times. Now he's going to get a little bit of farm finally. They're going to probably rotate over for Raptors. He's going to check it out. I don't know if he could do anything with this, but he's going to dive in here. Let's see if he can pick up a steal on a Raptor at least. Oh, he goes straight for the Narbash. Narbash taking a lot of damage there. He gets thunked. Narbash starts the crash bang boom. McKinchy doing everything he can to bob and weave. Twin Blast must be missing a lot of shots. He gets the kill on Narbash. And now Twin Blast is missing shots and McKinchy's hitting his. Twin Blast is in trouble here. And he takes out the Twin Blast. He gets two kills. That's going to help his farm. That's going to help out quite a bit. That was a ballsy maneuver there. I don't know if I would have done that, but it worked out for him. Great job for McKinchy there. I guess uh, I guess if your team's not going to help you out, you can use the Raptors to help you out. The Raptors got that Narbash pretty low for him, and he was able to take him out. That, uh, that Twin Blast kill was... All him though. Oh, he might just be trying to come over and get some. No, he. Oh yeah, here's the. Uh, here's the. <laughs> he takes the raptor An and takes down the chimera again, using the raptors to his advantage An here. He picks up a slain. raptor. The enemy. His team's trying to surrender as they would. They're, they've been getting their dicks kicked in, but uh, yeah, Murdoch takes a raptor for himself. So that's three kills now for Murdoch. Well, four if you got that first one. Holy shit, that was well done. Yeah, like I said, if you, if you if your team's not helping you out, you, you, use the Raptors. Use the Raptors' help. McKinchy spies a fully stacked jungle camp here, and I would normally counsel against taking that jungle camp, but it is a five-stack jungle camp, so the jungler hasn't been taking them. And, uh, yeah, the jungler hasn't been helping McKinchy out at all anyway, so he might as well get some feed off of these junglers. Off the junglers. Off the jungle camp. Altercation in the mid lane. McKinchy's going to rotate over to try and help out. I don't think that's going to happen. Gideon is bobbing and weaving. He gets away. 
Oh, the, the Void Bomb Seismic Slam. Twin Blast is getting straight up murdered here, and he does. And now we're going to ping on the Narbash. And Narbash is going, he's bobbing and weaving. He's got a little bit of armor, so he's not going down nearly as fast as the Twin Blast was. He almost dies. The Gideon comes in, tries to kill him, takes two tower shots for absolutely nothing, and gets killed. So McKinchy's doing the best he can, but it looks like his team is not uh, the greatest of players. Mid lane is a busy place today as Gideon is probably going to fall to this enemy team. They do to a Chimera slain. ambush. Ooh, that, that, that Belka is doing serious damage. Easy target up in the sky from Gideon, but McKinchy identifies the real threat, which is Chimera coming after him. They're able to take him down pretty and easily. And then just an arbitrary kill on Gideon. Gideon just kind of stood in the way of that bullet there. Triple and Narbash kill. goes down to easy triple kill. Now they're starting to work together. The... The Bellica damage is really starting to come into play. Bellica in fall is a beast. Our friendly team finally working on this right side tower that uh, McKinchy wasn't able to put any pressure on at the beginning because he didn't have a support. But it's all starting to work out for him. Ally They're starting to push this slain. tower down. Narbash is the only one defending. And he's, oh, here comes Countess from behind. Oh, I think that just interrupted her ult. The Bellica back up with the seismic slam and the void bomb. And, oh, He's low. Is he going to get the snipe? He gets the snipe on Narbash. And uh, Countess knows better than to try and move in anymore. That uh, that Seismic Slam Void Bomb almost took her out, uh, combined with McKinchy's. Oh, Twin Blast coming in from behind. Drops a grenade. Oh, he gets the Seismic Slam and gets finished slain. off by Murdoch. Oh, that Belica, that Belica's good. Um, if she would have supported from the beginning, they probably would be even more further ahead. It's probably one of those situations where the Gideon picked mid and... You know, uh, oh, Countess coming in with the... Oh, she does take out Murdoch. But is she going to pay for it? She does pay for slain. it. And how did Murdoch get that? Get credit for that kill? Oh, well, whatever. It all works out in the end. But as I was saying, it's probably one of those situations where, you know, Bellica picked mid lane at the beginning and then Gideon just arbitrarily picked mid lane and then went mid lane. You, you get that situation all the time. Especially, like... Uh, I don't know. I don't know why, especially in a pre-alpha like this or, or early access like this but god mid lane popping off once again as uh murdoch has the red buff let's see what he can do with that he's waiting for the twin blast to come around twin blast does come around uh, he realizes his mistake immediately boosts the fuck one out of there and there they, they got his number he gets a thunk mckinchy's gonna have to back off a little bit but his team is starting to come in the crash bang boom starts but immediately interrupted by the seismic slam and it's fucking go time baby as they dive into this team pinging on the narbash gideon ults but he's just a big old skeet up in the air he does mckinchy takes a lot of damage from that but bellica is able to finish off gideon what was that little ramp there bellica takes off takes out twin blast too bellica popping off take a quick kill on the narbash and oh mckinchy goes down to countess that was a good target selection from countess but uh now she's got to deal with bellica and gideon she easily Easily Double deals with kill. Gideon. The, the Countess really knows what she's doing now. And Bellica is uh, going to try and take her out. But yeah, Bellica is not the target that Countess wants. She uh, she backs off, which is smart, I think. Got us another team fight. McKinchy's heading in for the action after clearing out the left lane a little bit and setting it. And it looks like they're just going to square off for a bit. He's going to get a little bit of farm. And they're going in. They're going hard. Oh, and uh, Greystone looks like he's really low. I don't know if he has his ultimate or not. Something coming out from Narbash. The Seismic Assault lands on Narbash. Oh, Narbash is taking a lot of damage there. And, oh, the Gideon. The Gideon ult's preventing the Narbash death. But the long arm clips him in the shoulder. Takes him down for the kill. Now, Gideon's, Gideon's in a lot of trouble. Taking a lot of damage from McKinchy. McKinchy takes him out. Now, <laughs> the Triple Chimera kill. just getting melted. Count is getting melted. Oh, she's stasis. She went into stasis. Quad it's not going to help her out, kill. though. McKinchy's going to just pick up that kill real quick. Nice little team fight there. At 32 minutes in on the heels of absolutely nothing, the enemy team throws in the towel, goes ahead and surrenders. Look at that poor Gideon, level 9 with, like, one item. But, yeah, that was, this, was a, this was a really good lesson on how if you just keep your cool and, and do your best, then you can succeed. So, great job for McKinchy there. In game analysis, I think the uh, I think McKenzie's team won here just through simple perseverance and good ward usage. You saw that at the beginning, and they were warding all throughout the game, and they were able to end up winning quite a few team fights, pushing the enemy team back. Um, 
they're they're Gideon. I suppose is probably a new player. I shouldn't uh, shouldn't bag on him too much. He's just learning the game. That's fine. But uh, it ended up being a really great game. Uh, I think if the Countess would have came online a little sooner, that that could have been gone very different because she was playing really well towards the end. But yeah, great game all around. Uh, McKinchy, enjoy your Kiltage.